<sighs> Folks, I've got some bad news for you. There is no such thing as a transparent overdrive pedal for guitar. This is the kind of 2020, 2021 standard for amazing tone. This is a, a copy of one. This isn't a real one. Uh, the Klon Centaur. It's, uh, it sounds great. I like it. It's a clone and I like this clone. It sounds amazing. I really like it a lot. Uh, it is absolutely not a transparent overdrive. I don't believe a transparent overdrive exists, sadly. I uh, hate to break it to all of you, but here's what happens. So you have your guitar and you plug it into your amp, okay? You have a tone, that's great. What happens is the resistance of the volume knob or tone knob or both in conjunction of each other, whatever, and the capacitance that's in the cable and some resistance in the cable creates a tone filter. So you don't even have a transparent cable. <laughs> it already is changing the sound of your guitar. And most guitarists will know that. Most guitarists are, are aware of that. And uh, if you're not, you are now. So the long coily cables that they used in the 60s would cut a lot of highs out of the signal. So the amps needed to be brighter, turned up the treble and everything to compensate. So now they have like really expensive, uh, low capacitance, like zero oxygen copper cabling wires whatever and it, it changes the sound of your guitar that's my point so here we have a pedal okay with some more wiring in it so already it's changing the tone of your guitar can you hear the tone change of uh what 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 adds up to maybe an extra foot of signal wire? No, I'm sure absolutely not. I probably can't even measure it like in a lab setting with like oscilloscopes and all that stuff. Uh, but nonetheless, it will change the sound. You probably won't hear it. But here's the biggest thing, okay? We have this pedal. You plug into it, okay, and it's claimed that it's a transparent overdrive, okay? It has three knobs that turn, changing the sound of the pedal, okay? That's what they do. If you had a knob on a pedal that you turned it willy-nilly and it changed nothing at all, then it's a useless knob. These knobs actually do things. So where exactly is the transparent setting? Okay, this changes the output, which is going to change the sound of the amp. As you turn up the output, it overdrives the amp, which creates clipping, which is the distortion, which is going to accentuate higher frequencies so it's changing the the very basic tone of your sound the the very basis of your sound is being altered just by increasing the volume even if the volume here didn't change the frequencies at all it does but even if it didn't if it was like so well engineered that as you turned the volume up, it kept the frequency range, the, the frequency of your guitar going in exactly even, just louder. It now changes it at the amp because you're now overdriving tubes or 
whatever circuitry you're overdriving in a different way. So just making it louder, if you just had an overdrive that just made it like Spinal Tap, like one louder, it changes the sound. So it's not transparent. The treble, the tone control, you're changing the, the tone, obviously. Gain, like I just said, changing the clipping changes the tone. There's no way around it. So, I'm sorry to break it to you, but there is no such thing as a transparent overdrive. Uh, the uh, Tube Screamer is a highly regarded distortion pedal, boost pedal, overdrive pedal. Uh, I believe it's, it's sort of classified as an overdrive pedal. But nonetheless, it creates distortion, it increases gain, it boosts things. It has a sort of mid-frequency hump, like a, it boosts the mid-frequencies a little bit more, which allows the guitar to cut through better because you want those mid-frequency frequencies. You, you want those middle frequencies because that helps you cut through. But um, it's, it's, it's commonly seen as a not transparent overdrive because it changes the frequencies, it gives you more mids, which helps you to cut through, which is generally a good thing. This, the tone control, you're changing the frequencies, the frequency range, whatever, boosting or cutting frequencies, like a Tube Screamer does, you're just not cutting or boosting those same frequencies. So again, I, I didn't mean to rant, and I have no idea like how long I've gone on for, but there's no such thing as a transparent overdrive, and that's a good thing. Don't get me wrong, it's a good thing. But, this is a great pedal, it is far from being a transparent overdrive.